Want to level up your bug bounty game with some powerful browser extensions? Well, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the must have browser extensions that could make your life a whole lot easier. First up, we got Foxy Proxy. This extension allows you to easily switch between proxy servers without messing up around with your browser settings. If I could just take one browser extension to the deserted island for the bug mount, this will be the one. Uh, the main use case is setting up the web proxies like Burp Suite or Kaido, but it's also useful with services like Tor for added privacy. Webalyzer is essential for fingerprinting a web stack. With a single click, you can see what technologies a website is running. Frameworks, content management systems, analytics tools, and more. While there are other similar tools like BuiltWith, Webalyzer is my favorite one. This extension is perfect for testing different user accounts in the same hacking session. With multi-account containers, you can isolate your browsing in different tabs, meaning you can log in into the multiple accounts or test different permission levels without clearing the cookies or using incognito mode. It's especially helpful when testing for broken access control issues across multiple roles without needing to use two different browsers or one in the private session and one in regular one. This extension gets really convenient when you have at least three or more different user roles to test. I love this tool because it's so convenient when I need to quickly change the cookie values, especially when testing session or privilege escalation issues. No need to use proxy tool, capture the request and edit it manually, the cookie editor saves a ton of time. Amazing tool for spotting low hanging fruits. Uh, .git makes it easy to detect publicly exposed .git directories on websites which developers often forget to secure. These can expose sensitive information such as source code and configuration files, great for gaining edge in your bug bounty journey. As a bug hunter, managing a lot of credentials can get tedious. Using a password manager like 1Password keeps things secure and organized. While you can use any password manager, this is the one I personally use. Plus, it saves a lot of time quickly filling out login forms during the testing. Uh, just don't store your passwords to the browser. This is the worst place to store credentials apart from saving into the notes.txt file. Now let's dive into the some tools that could help you automate or semi-automate parts of your workflow. LinkGoffer extracts all the links on the web page, making it easier to find hidden or interesting endpoints during the recon. I love using it when I'm Google Dorking or doing on-site recon to pull out those valuable URLs. Foxcrawler is another tool that saves a lot of time. It works great with LinkGoffer on the sites that load more links as you scroll. A good example is Google search results. You can set it to auto-scroll through the thousands of results while you take a quick break. And finally, Bulk URL Opener is super handy when you have a list of URLs to visit quickly. Whenever you are working with links from LinkOffer or results from tools like HTTPX, this extension speeds up the enumeration phase by letting you open multiple websites at once. Really convenient. These browser extensions can really take your bug bounty workflow to the next level, from faster reconnaissance to easier cookie manipulation and account testing. I've placed all the links in the description below so you can download and try them out yourself. If you are using Chrome, don't worry. Most of these extensions are available on Chrome as well. I have dropped the links of alternatives to Chrome as well. Now I want to hear from you. What is your favorite browser extensions for the bug hunting? Drop them in the comments down below and let's share the knowledge with the community. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe if you found this video helpful. Let's see you on the next one.